Well, in other news, mourners gathered at the late Marco Hausiku's residence in Ventuk to pay tribute. One of them is the Deputy Secretary of Swapo Party's Women Council, Francina Kahungu. Hausiku died in Ventuk on Thursday. The sun of his life crept down towards its setting. Our dear Mr. Marco Hausiku returned to the infinite majesty of heaven to God who loves him so much, a God with an endless evidence of wisdom and grace, who has called our gentle teacher, comrade, son, father, brother, husband, grandfather, and friend, was called back to answer to a higher calling. Well, joining us now on the line is reporter Emil Sebeb. Good evening, Emil. Yeah, good evening, Blanche. What is happening now currently at the residence of late uh, Marco Ausiku? Well, Blanche, um, as you just saw, um, Honorable Francina Kahungu, a SWAPO member, also speaking there, speaker after speaker, they are describing um, the late Marco Husiku as a towering uh, persona. He, of course, comes a very long way with the party. He was a member of the Constituent Assembly. He has held various portfolios in uh, government also as Minister of Land, uh, Transport and Communication, back then Minister of Labor. Um, at his residence now, Blanche, there are a small group of people gathered. The mood is, is somber. Um, they describe him as a man with great humility. Um, he, of course, died on Heroes Day, that is the 26th of August. And again, we have heard this before during, during over the weekend that they, it is not a coincidence that he died on the Heroes on Heroes Day. Of course, the Prime Minister Sarak Vongwela Amatila is also at the memorial service. High-ranking party officials, high-ranking government officials are at the memorial um, praising and commemorating the life of, of this fallen uh, stalwart Blanche. Now, Emil, apart from the officials, government officials and SWAPO party um, members speaking, and they have their way of describing the late Hausiko, what are his children, his family, how are they remembering him? Blanche, um, right now, uh, I... I no, Family members have not taken to the podium, um, and I could tell from when the speakers uh, that spoke would greet the children and 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 those close to relatives in absentia. One would assume that they are um, up in the Kavango region, um, where he also has a home. Blanche, um, but, but one can one, one can safely say that they are touched by him. I mean, they lived with this man. For a very long time, um, it is their father, it is their brother, it is their husband, um, the uncle. So one would assume that they are deeply touched um, by his passing. Mm -hmm. And he was also a national leader, Emil. So apart now from his party, the Swapo Party members uh, speaking, giving tributes there, what about the other political parties? Did you observe some members there? Um, Blanche, well, of course, I did not get um, to to walk around in the crowd, so I cannot with confidence state that there is an absence of other political leaders or, or members from other political parties. Of course, um, the mention, they have mentioned um, his role he has played uh, with the various p portfolios that he held. Um, he was also described as a hands-on leader as one that was action driven um, in his role as a leader when he occupied these positions within government. All right then and the going forward for the program just to share with the viewers. It was quite a, a very short uh, program Blanche. There were only three speakers um, and, and of course uh, the hymns uh, that were being sung. Um, so it's actually a relatively close uh, short short very short program. Well, thank you so much. I'm sure much. the family will 
communicate and the organizers will communicate in the days to come the arrangements in further memorial services. What I know is that this memorial services started on, on Saturday, uh, Friday, 6 o'clock Saturday, and then today then uh, what was going to be the last one. But I'm sure um, there are going to be an extensive communication with regards to further memorial services. Well, thank you so much for that update, Emil. Thank you so much. Good night. Reporter Emil Sebeb, who is attending the memorial at late Marco Hausiku's house in Ventuk.